A vessel is in the form of an inverted cone. So inverted cone is like this. And this is a rectangle. OK. This is the inverted cone. Its height is 8, radius, uh, which is open. They have told us very clearly the open from the top is 5. So radius is 5 and height is 8. It is filled uh, with water to the brim. What, what do you mean by the word brim? Do you understand uh, the, the word brim? Yes. To the top. This is called brim. Okay. That means it is fully filled. If you fill one drop, it will fall. Got it? Yes. Practically, I have done this experiment, uh, which was, which failed. Because when I dropped a coin, the water did not fill. <laughs> Can anybody tell me why? It's a science concept. I tried this experiment. I filled the uh, glass to the brim. And when I dropped one coin in it, the water was like there. It was not filled. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Any idea, guys? Yes, no? Because your coin took up this space. Sorry? Your coin took up this space. Anyone else? Because of surface tension. Water has a surface tension at the top and uh, which held the molecules close. So I had to drop minimum 10 coins after that one drop fell down. Okay, so practically speaking, there are some physics also uh, involved. So in mathematics, we exclude those concepts. Remember, got it? Yes. When lead shots each of sphere shape radius 0 0.5 are dropped into the vessel, one fourth of the water flows out. One fourth of the water flows out. Find the number of lead shot dropped in the vessel. So what they are saying, they threw some balls like this. Okay. Inside this thing. And as soon as they were dropping, since the water was full, water starts flowing out. And in total, one fourth of the volume of cone was out. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So can you tell me why this water fell out, like falls out? Tell me, guys. Because the ball took place of the water, and you can, and Very you good. added. So. So, ball was taking the space. What is the science concept applying over here? Displacement. Very good. Displacement. So, you are absolutely right. This water is because of the cone, uh, because of the spheres? Yes or no? Yes. So can I say that this one fourth of water is actually equals to the spheres? Spheres, yes. Got it? Yes. Is the logic clear here as of now, yes or no? Yes, yes. 
because yeah. I am putting spheres in the cone, the same amount of water is going out of the cone. So eventually what is happening because uh, of these spheres, one fourth of the volume of cone is out. So it's very simple equation. One fourth of volume of cone, that means pi, uh, what is the volume of cone? One by three pi r square h is equal to volume of spheres. What is the vol vol by volume by of a volume of sphere? Four third pi r by two by three pi r cube. Pi r cube. Yeah. So over here, I have to keep r capital. Why? Can you tell me why? Because radius can be different. Uh, no, can be. Radius are different. Very good. Radius is 0 0.5 over here. Yes or no? Yes. Now, I use the word S, plural. Do we know how many spheres did we fill? Like, dropped? No. So, how many? Find them. X. How many? X. So, I can multiply this thing by X. Got it? Yes. And we can define it as let X be the number of yeah. spheres. Understood? Now, yes. over here, I'm going to teach very simple concept that please do not substitute values as of now. We can cancel them right now. Now, 4 is in the denominator, sorry, not 4. 3 is in the denominator, 3 is in the denominator, cancel. Yes. Yes. Pi and pi getting cancelled. Got it? It will yes. reduce my calculation time. Radius, 5 into 5. Height is 8 upon 4. Yes. Multiply. Um, 1 over 4. What was the radius of this thing? Both are in centimeter, no? Both the things are in centimeter. Yes. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 equals to x. Is is this thing clear, what I did just now? Yes. yes. Now, 4 getting cancelled, this 2. Uh, I can convert them as... 5 and place zeros at the top. Is it clear? 1000? Yes. 5, 5 getting cancelled. This 1, this 2. Now what is remaining in the numerator? 1000. 5 into 10, uh, 2, 10. Cancel. 100. So I need 100 spares. Now, important thing is not this question. Important thing is how I proceeded with this question. Can you see I'm cancelling it out? Yes. I'm not substituting. Yes. The student who will start substituting the values and start multiplying, I'm telling you, you are going to take a lot of time to do this question. And high chances are you are not going to get the answer. The student who will substitute the value of pi, 22 by 7, or 3.14, I'm telling you, you are not going to get answer at all. Why? Because over here, pi is supposed to get cancelled. The student who will calculate the volume of cones separately and volume of sphere separately, then divide, you are not going to get the correct answer, exact answer. Understood? And you will take a lot of time. I hope my procedure is clear. Yes. yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Copy this thing. Similar kind of concept can be applied in melting. I have one big cone and I'm melting it to form something else. So it is the same. So how many something else will be used? So I have to multiply by X. Same thing can be applied. Um, I have a big cylinder 
jar and using this i'm filling some glasses isn't it that's a, that's kind of party kind of question used to come in our slow, smaller classes yes so i don't know how many are there so multiply by x mm. got it mm. volume of this equals to volume of this one part multiply by x we'll divide it we will get the answer but remember this radius and this height would be different from this radius and this height got it yeah yes these things should be carefully managed rest these questions are very easy when we are shifting the volume from one shape to another 